and welcome back to Mystic Quest of the Final Fantasy variety. Let's go to the first major dungeon in game, shall we? As I was saying, let's go to the first major dungeon in the game. The Bone Dungeon. It's a pretty nice dungeon, you know, not too long. It, when, you know, once you go to some of the major dungeons later on in the game, they kind of do drag a little bit. Maybe not a little bit, maybe quite a bit, but hey. We got our random encounters, even though they're kind of mandatory. But, like I said, I'm going to be cutting out the uh, same formation ones. Save some time, at least. Just like that. But, um... Mystic Quest. Yeah, good music. Uh, nostalgia. Yeah. Um, first Final Fantasy game I ever played. Interesting, yeah. Uh, Mystic Quest was also in created just for the U.S. to introduce players to RPGs. And it worked in my case. Weak to axes because they're worms. Different enemies have different weaknesses to different types of weapons, so do what you can. I tend to stick with the axe for major hitting damage unless I get a more powerful version of the sword, and I tend to stick with that, I believe. Now we got. Poison toads. Uh, three is the maximum amount of enemies you'll face at once, just because of the way Mystic Quest works. So you'll never face anything more than three. Without that heal potion there. In this dungeon, a lot of the treasure chests are going to have uh, ninja stars for our party member here. So that way he's uh, good and stock. And another thing about this dungeon is there's a uh, moving sand, so there's that. I always like this water. I don't know why. This water just, it just seems so unique. Want to go swimming in it. Also, in this dungeon, a lot of like just random uh, dead ends it's with just nothing there. It's kind of weird. Like down here, this is just a dead end. Who knows? good deal, you know, 30 GP for some bombs. Now we got another weapon type, and with this we can actually uh, solve puzzles within the uh, dungeon. You know, just blast open stone doors and what have you. We can actually go ahead and go get another uh, another uh, treasure up here. A red treasure, which is good. We like red treasure. And by we, I mean me. I'm not crazy. Okay. A skill shield, you know, increase our defense here a little bit, which is always nice. Now, I don't know if, um, it stacks. Like, you know, if you get another shield later on, I don't know if you add the first one and the second one, or it's just whatever's the highest value is what is equipped. I, I, would, I would like to hope it would stack, but, you know, who knows, who knows with this game. 
never actually looked into that. But moving on, we're here. We got some flying enemies here now. Now, if um you're what if you're fighting just flying enemies, they do have this little up and down animation. But if uh, they're fighting, say, with a stationary enemy, then they just won't move whatsoever. Because I guess the way they coded it is whatever's on screen will float. So whenever another enemy that doesn't normally float is on screen, I guess they say, hey, don't make them float. Shit, it's weird like that. Uh, the, the appearances of the monsters, name, not appear it, but in name, there is uh, some classical uh, Final Fantasy monsters. Well, I, I don't know if they're classical by then, by this point in time of uh, Mr. Quest's release, which was 1992, I believe. But, uh, like, you know, the behemoth is a reoccurring thing and whatnot. But we're not going to see, like, you know, uh, well, Cactar wouldn't even be invented until 6. Uh, I believe Cactar, yeah, Cactar was first introduced in 6. Tonberries wouldn't be introduced until 5, I want to say. I could be wrong in that. Which, more likely, I am. Cleaning up some monsters, you know, getting that EXP. Got three worms here. Sand worms. You know, they like the sand. They're very sandy. Mm. Final Fantasy series always has weird worm designs. I mean, I don't know how you can get a cool worm design, but I don't know. I think I'm just saying stuff that's on top of my head and not really thinking of what I'm saying. It happens a lot. So instead of thinking of it, I'm just gonna let it out of my mouth and I'll suffer the consequences as they come by. I mentioned the good music in this game. Now, for, now we got already got a recolor of the first boss of the game here. Which is going to be commonplace. And they will retain their, uh, the amount of battle damage they receive. Whereas with normal enemies, it's only two. Whereas with them, it's three. And I think with major, major bosses, it's four. Which is an interesting, you know, little touch. Another dead end. Nothing that can be done, unfortunately. I don't know why I like these skeletons. Just easy. Especially when um, you can blow up their teeth. It's just funny to me. As a dead end. Just... Yeah, I just don't know. They just like their dead ends here. And just come back here for a small treasure. Alright. Now we have 52 ninja stars. Even though one counts as like nine or so when he throws them, but hey, I'm not complaining. Just admiring this skull here. Oh no, I got poisoned. But that's okay. Poison's like... I think poison's really the only stat that carries outside of battle. I believe, anyway. Oh 
no, a Gorgon and a Sandworm working together. This could be trouble. But not really. I think we got this. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, you can't... Unlike NPCs, you can't jump over monsters. Which would probably break the game. Now we have another recolor from an earlier boss, the Minotaur Zombie. So it's very dead. Ready for combat. Confusion is probably actually the worst stat you can get on you, maybe other than Paralyzed. Because uh, if your party member hits another party member, it's going to hurt. More so if you were hitting an enemy, it just it just does. And I, I caught me sand like a dummy. But that's just me, that's okay. We'll ride the sand here a little bit. Just enjoy the scenery. Alright, let's get off here. No skeleton. Let's pop it off screen. Yeah, they, these things. This is just funny. Freaking just teeth open like that. A minotaur zombie and his bastolin. Just taking a stroll through the bone dungeon. Stone is probably... Okay, yeah, there's, there's more than just one bad stat in this game. Stone is another bad one that we'll come across later on. But heal potion heals any stat. It's not like other Final Fantasy games where only certain items will do certain um, cure certain stats other than remedy, which will cure all. But you pretty much have remedy from this art. Oh, seed um seed will recover your uh, your magic points or your magic. It's just called magic here. As you use it, it's just like uh, regular MP healing in um, regular games, except you don't have MP points. You just have usage. walking straight back here and you get another red treasure and this is gonna be the quake spell a uh, pretty good spell for the upcoming major boss here but later on it gets um, overshadowed by uh, other more powerful spells and cooler looking spells mine too and we just fight this minotaur zombie by himself and now he's angry I'd be angry too if my horn is gone though I think we're approaching the boss dungeon right now. Or the boss room. Yep. And I just want to blow these up for funsies. But here's our, uh, our first major dot boss. The uh, guy who stole the earth crystal. Or protected earth crystal. Flame Rus Rex. Um, he's not too difficult. Uh, just mind your health, uh, just hit them with what you got, use the quake spell when you can. Of course, I was a dummy and came rushing in without recovering my HP before the battle, which is a very big no-no. Also, uh, the boss battle music is pretty great in this game, once again. Which I'm probably gonna keep saying numerous, numerous times, probably every single time we go into boss battle. Yeah, these major bosses have their own unique uh, attack animations, which is cool, you know. So they don't feel samey as the uh, other stuff like them. And now he's starting to lose some bones, so we know uh, he's starting to get weaker. Oh, losing more bones. Life in his game, uh, you can actually use it as a full cure as well, which is pretty nice. 
it's always going to recover the amount, uh, the difference between what you have and your maximum HP. This guy's got quite a bit of different status uh, effect attacks. Ailments. And that was pointless, but that's okay. We got this. As he throws his own bones at us. Probably why he's really losing his um, bones. Oh, he's on the ground now. He's on his last bone. And that's it for the first major boss. And this is where we get to save the first crystal of the game, the Earth Crystal. And now the land and the surrounding area will become green once again, which is very nice attention to detail. And all those children that were turned into old people in the town will be back to children. But maybe much wiser. Also, you get healed, recovered whenever you fight a boss. A major boss. And I'm not gonna lie, that's like the greatest thing in Mystic Quest. Now we got the Ixler. Wait, Exler. Ixler, Exler, whatever you want to say. And also another red chest over here. We get the Sand Coin. This is gonna help us uh, travel further within the world of Mystic Quest. But no point in having to go through the whole dungeon again, so jump cut. Mystic Quest Legend. See, the land is green once more. It's very nice. And the children are children, and the people are people once more. You are indeed a little girl, Ian. Little girl. My favorite Mystic Quest character. Not really. Benjamin's my favorite Mystic Quest character. But, okay. I, I saved one of them. Doesn't that count? talk to all the town people. Some of them say something different now. Very nice. And like I said in the previous part, you can, uh, the brown chests will respawn every time you leave the, uh, the area to the main map. So, more than, well, so be more than free to Keep spending it until you have max LP and whatnot, so you don't have to spend your money at shops that will sell them. And shops in this game will only sell one kind of item at a time, so... Not like previous Final Fantasy games. They really want to keep it straight and, uh... Straight and to the point with this one. Which, hey... It's... Okay. Oh, oh I shall. Alright, and we were gonna go to the Focus Tower. I'm just gonna jump over to you, uh, party member's mother. Alright, in the next part, we'll go into Focus Tower and explore the new, uh, new part of the game. Uh, see you then.